Kia ora team and welcome back to another hunt with long range hunting adventures. It's been a while since we've been out in the bush so we're going to head uh, up towards Dannyvirk for a hunt today. It's going to be about a three hour drive and then about an hour and a half walk in to our OP. The weather's going to be a mixed bag but we've got the gears to be there a good couple of nights. So team, we've reached the uh, AO well, <laughs> almost, until we uh, came across this little sucker here in the middle of the road, so uh, just ran into the farmer, he's a good bugger, he's had a good chat to Russell, he's got the old council coming, so yeah, bit of interesting, I'm not going to get the ute past that, um, there's nothing that he's got to move it either, so the next day or two the old council will come and uh, probably put a bit of uh, explosives into that, break it up and uh, move it out of the way, so yeah, we've got about an extra K to walk today, but all good, so it might be a little bit later than what we wanted getting into our uh, into our blind so hopefully we we're there before last night get to see uh, some of the clearings So we've arrived at the blind, uh, we're all set up, ready to go. We've got some uh, really good slope set of glass. Hopefully, in the next hour something comes out, um, but if not, we're here for another couple of days. So, the weather's supposed to hold out with uh, Friday being uh, absolutely perler. So, fingers crossed we get to see at least a couple of deer, and better yet, it'll be good to get something on the deck. Right team, so we've had uh, one deer all set up here um, and then the clag just bloody come in but it didn't matter, we were just on last light anyway so we couldn't quite see it through the scope so it was at uh, 467 yards, so something like 4.4 MOA dialed up and uh, no no shot today, so good to see a deer's getting a little bit concerned but um, well, I wouldn't say concerned I was just getting a little bit annoyed that we weren't seeing deer, but it's nice to see one anyway. So, rain's just starting to come in. Time to uh, head back to the uh, camp. Morning, team. Uh, day two, caught a bit of rain overnight. Don't know how much you can see at the moment, but um, it's obviously just starting to dawn. And uh, yeah, we're going to get down to the blind. Hopefully, uh, there's not too much clag. Um, the wind's up very slightly, but uh, all good. So I'll get another hot G set up down at the blind, uh, get some breakfast, and uh, spend the whole day glassing. I'll catch you shortly. Right, team, so we're all set up. We've got a uh, hot chair off the top of us. We've got weather coming in. And Clegg is coming in and out, but um, this is supposed to burn off today. So yesterday, or last night, just before last night, we saw a uh, deer up in here. You could see it in the binos, but just couldn't quite pick it up on the um, on the scope. So I think it's about 460 yards from memory. We are tends to back up in almost the same area uh, as before or last night. We saw uh, a good hind. Just waited till it's turned its head side on and took a shot. But drifted left by about a foot, just didn't do quite enough wind hold, so yeah, a little bit frustrating. But probably should have just waited for that deer to stand up rather than taking that shot. So, a bit of a rocky mistake, but it was only 435 yards, three and a half MOA, so 
really, yeah, really should probably wait it for the stand up. So just not enough hold over with the wind drift. So is what it is. Back to glassing. By the time I've moved back to my rifle, have attained a shooting solution through the blister gap and have commenced dialing, this deer is almost out of sight. Having been so close to the proximity of my last shot, it's promising to see that there are a lot of deer around and hopefully there'll be more later this afternoon. This deer is around 460 yards away. After ranging dialing, I get into a comfortable shooting position and take pause to look at the wind across the valley. There's no tree movement, so I gently squeeze away the shot. Disappointingly, this shot is impacted to the right of my point of aim, which is an aggressive wind hold, and the deer runs off. Okay, team, so it's uh, getting near the end of the day. Um, we've seen four deer today. Uh, we've had uh, two shots at two separate deer. And unfortunately on both occasions we've um, missed those deer so just to make sure the gun's on I've taken another shot at a uh, uh, gravel area and hit being on so look I'm on the gun's on I just haven't read the wind um, and at times it's been absolutely blowing through here um, and other times there's virtually no wind so when I look down range at all the uh, shrubs and that, I, I can't see the wind. Uh, you know, there's there's a little bit coming from right to left, so we've uh, held for that. But there's obviously a bit more that I, uh, than I'm aware of. So I am in the lee of the hill, but I've still been fairly generous with my wind holds. But it is what it is. That's hunting. All right, we'll catch you back at the campsite. After reflecting on the GoPro about my last shot, believing I've actually missed. I decided to give the area one last quick glance with the binos just to see if there's anything out. To my amazement, to the left are two deer feeding out in a small clearing. I range dial, take a more aggressive wind hold again because the wind has gone a little bit stronger and squeeze away to the shot. Again, the shot goes to the right of my point of aim. missing this latest shot I can only surmise that the wind is going in the opposite direction downrange. I have had an aggressive wind hold and we have impacted on the rear quarter of the rear legs. Right team, uh, time for a bit of reflection on today's shooting so gosh we're seeing about six animals today we've shot at three we've had two misses and one hit although the one we hit wasn't flash because it's hit it in the rear of the deer so um, yeah pretty pretty disappointed because I uh, ended up putting a shot down range about an hour prior to that just into a piece of gravel because wasn't happy about what was going on and very slightly left very slightly down but you know there was a 450 460 yards so very similar distance to what we shot the deer at so yeah, just have to have a think about potentially what the wind was doing to the uh, bullet downrange. But like I said earlier, there wasn't a lot of wind. There was about maybe 10 mile an hour gusting 15. But, you know, you could definitely hear the wind in the valley. It wasn't really affecting us so much. So, yeah, sort of first time shooting here. Um, sort of quite interesting what the hills... Uh, and ridge lines are actually doing to the wind so all good you live and learn and uh, hopefully we get a deer recovered tomorrow without a um, without 
going away and dying in pain, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Good morning team, so uh, start of day three today, and uh, we've gone and plotted where that deer is, um, so done a pin drop, got that plot on the GPS, um, so we're going to climb up to the top of the hill, and then transverse down a, um, down a ridge line, uh, hopefully come across a couple key features, and then um, should be onto the uh, small clearing where we shot that uh, deer. Right, so all packed up, ready to go. And uh, we've got about roughly 400 metres to go to get to a uh, deer, so, um, or at least where we shot the deer. So, yeah, it should be interesting going. Uh, probably try and stay on the track, the trail as much as we can, and then. Um, Maybe bush bashing for a few hundred metres, so yeah, hopefully we're dead down and a uh, good chance to check out there anyway. Right team, so we've come up to a bit of a, of a vantage point. We've got to cross over to the other ridge line and then go down about 100 metres. So touch wood, once we get down the bottom, there'll be a, uh, it'll start to open up a bit of clearings. Uh, and then it's a bit of a uh, triangulation of a couple of key points. Um, potentially also just try and grid screw it and just uh, try and find the small clearing so imagine it might take about half an hour to an hour to find the clearing but we'll see where we get to we're just about to break out in the open it's been about uh, 10 minutes coming out through this some parts have been quite uh, dense other part like this has been quite open just steep mm. fortunately GoPro doesn't do this justice but it is uh, you should watch your foot it's quite steep I don't know if you can see this that well, but there's a tree up in there that fetch you we want to go to. And uh, so we'll follow the creek up a little bit just in case the animals come down through here. And that should uh, intersect us with the clearing. So nice and steep, but uh, just taking our time. So yeah, really enjoy these uh, off track experiences. Sort of initially went to the wrong ridge line and looked over and was like, ah, oh, yeah. That's the original I should be on, so I should have trusted my pin drop on my GPS. But oh well, sometimes you just don't listen to the gadgets, do we? Can't quite see from here where we shot from, but it's just to find the ridge here. And uh, these are slope we're shooting onto. There's no blood trail in the way, track the footprints that go down into the creek. done quite a good good search and then popped up just into here and uh, to where we shot at the other deer I'm pretty sure that's what they missed though so over on this trip uh, disappointed with the shooting should have had a couple animals on the deck right team we're almost at the car park and another couple hundred meters to go just finished running into an absolutely awesome fella uh, Ken all the way from Masterton's and uh, he's heading up to the uh, tops there to where the clearings are and uh, hopefully it's not too windy from up there because it is uh, fair pumping and uh, hopefully he gets a animal on the deck so Ken bloody nice talking to you mate uh, hope your hunting goes well and uh, never know we might run into each other again sometime cheers buddy okay team it's another hunt done uh, disappointing we didn't get a deer on the deck um, but yeah so back at the ute finally and um, yeah, all the gears sort of stowed and ready to hit the road. So, a few years back through to Wellington, and then um, hopefully be out uh, this next weekend or weekend after. We'll see what happens. All right, like and subscribe, and catch you another time. Cheers, team.